Hey, welcome back to the Six Figure Mastermind. Today, we're hitting contracts hard. We have a lot of videos about contracts and we're gonna discuss specifically how to form a contract between two business partners, so stay tuned. Congratulations, you've got a partner in business. Now it's time to draw up a contract and make sure all of your assets and your liabilities are covered. Let's talk about five key things that that contract needs to include in order to be a successful contract between these two business partners. First thing that you're gonna to need to include is all pertinent contract contact information for all parties involved. You need to make sure in the contract, in writing, all of the phone numbers, addresses, emails, physical addresses, everything is covered. All the names, everything is outlined very, very clearly in the contract. I mean, you think that's a no brainer, but sometimes the contract will forget to name the entire business name or they'll abbreviate without really describing. You can get into hot water when that happens. So make sure all of the contact information is involved right in that contract for every single party involved. Step number two, if you're doing a business contract between partnerships, it's a really smart idea to have an LLC in place. That way you are protected and your personal assets are protected should anything go south, either with your partner or whatever the contract is dealing with. Have an LLC set up. You can get them usually very inexpensively online, but it is investment worth making. An LLC, having that in place and having the LLC rather than you personally on the contract is going to make a world of difference whenever the contract or if ever the contract is called into question. Number three, in your contract, you need to outline the benefit split between the parties. Now, the reason you're doing business together is obviously because your business and their business are both going to be benefited. Contracts only exist in a win-win situation, typically between partnerships. So when you have that benefit split, you need to have it outlined in detail in your contract so every party is aware of what to expect as far as the benefits. The fourth thing you need to have in your contract is the liability split. Just as there's a benefit split, there's also a risk associated with whatever partnership you're going into. So you need to have it outlined very, very clearly in your contract who is responsible for what portion of the liability. You've got your benefits outlined, you've got your liabilities outlined. What should happen if a partnership were to leave the contract? What should happen uh, if a partnership were to experience a natural disaster? What would happen if the business deal that you're both investing in goes south? Who is responsible for that? All of that needs to be very, very clearly outlined and it just builds your confidence and it builds your potential partner's confidence in your contract as well. Number five thing that you must have in your business contract is an exit strategy. You don't know the duration of your contract until it's down on paper. During the duration of your contract, one of your business partners could pass away. One of your business partners could have a family emergency. One of your business partners could have a natural disaster come up. You just don't know. So in order for you to have an effective contract, you need to have an exit strategy built in. Now, what's an exit strategy? An exit strategy is a way for us, someone to get out of the contract with whatever penalties or whatever liabilities are included. So for example, let's say that you're buying a home and you are the management partner of that property and you've got someone who's bringing the cash and credit to the table and you're splitting those assets 50-50. You're splitting the monthly rent that comes in from the tenants 50-50, and you're splitting the equity of the home when it sells 50-50. All of that needs to be included in your contract. You also need to include the liability in your contract. Let's say that something should happen inside the home. Maybe the water heater goes out, or maybe a natural disaster occurs, or maybe the driveway needs to be replaced, or something needs to be repaired. All of those repair costs need to be outlined in your contract so that you know who is responsible financially for backing up each one of those things. Now let's say in this contract that you have a, a partnership where you're dealing with two sets of people. And maybe you're dealing with an LLC over here who's got the main business partner plus his business partner. And then on this side, you've got yourself and then maybe a spouse. Let's say during the duration of that contract, your business partners that you're dealing with, this LLC over here, that LLC could actually split. Maybe those two business partners, one of them wants to buy the other out, or maybe you know something bad happens between the two of them and they don't wanna do business together anymore, but they're both involved 
in your contract. They both have stake or claim in that contract. You need to have in your contract an exit strategy for any one of those members of any one of those partnerships to leave the contract. So let's say that one of those two business partners wants to leave the contract. All persons and all entities need to have an exit strategy. Maybe for example, you'll say that should one of the entities uh, leave their LLC, then the contract remains in force only for the person that is still involved in the LLC and whoever leaves it abandons their uh, liabilities and expectations of the contract. Whatever it is, it needs to be clearly outlined, equitable, and signed. In your contract. So when you make a contract between two business partners, you have a lot of things that you're getting to members. So let's just really recap real quick. You need to, first of all, to have all important information included in the contract, all contact, all email, all phone, everything in there it needs to be outlined in the contract. Second thing, include an LLC, be part of an LLC for yourself, for your contract. So you're not putting your personal stake on the line when it comes to do this business dealing. Number three, Include the benefit split. Everyone needs to be fully aware of what the full benefits are and what they can expect to receive from that contract. Number four, include a liability split. Who's liable if something goes south and how is that going to occur? Number five, include an exit strategy in your contract. You know, if you ever go on Google and you want to look up great ideas for contracts, Google has so many you know, sample contracts and things you can take ideas from and build your own contract. I also highly recommend that you watch our video series right here on Six Figure Mastermind for all of our contract ideas and concepts and tutorials. These contracts are, they cover what to do if the contract falls south, what to do if, you know, what if, is the contract legally binding or not? But if your contract between your two business partnerships has these five things, then you're going to be covered and you're signed, sealed and delivered. So hopefully contracts seem a lot less overwhelming for you now. Really, they're very quite simple. So leave a comment below, ask your questions about what you need to know about contracts, and I will see you tomorrow.